Hey guys, welcome to my Assassin's Creed Hidden Blade tutorial. As some of you might know, about a year ago I created my first Assassin's Creed Blade, also known as a Cyphoid, and I put that on YouTube. And by now it has, I think, uh, slightly less than 300,000 views. So, I've gotten tons and tons of requests to make tutorials. So, uh, I finally have, and here's the finished product. This is actually what I built in the tutorial. Uh, this is pretty much the same... It's based off the first model that I made in my video, except for two differences. Uh, the first one being right here, there's a string. This, string's let, this string lets the, sp uh, the spring right here not have to go all the way to the letter opener. It lets, it only, the spring only has to go halfway to where the letter opener is because of that string. So what that means is uh, when you fling your arm to, uh, to make the blade come out, it's a lot easier. It's way easier. Um, and the second difference in this model is it just looks nicer, I think. It's more compact, uh, it's not bulky. Um, if you look at my first video that I made, you have these screws coming out, it just doesn't look good. I think this one, in my opinion at least, is a lot better. So, uh, this is my first tutorial. I tried to make it as detailed as possible. Uh, it's actually, I think, 40 minutes long, so I made two parts, and uh, you'll, you'll find the second part in the description below, and I, I made an Instructables as well, so that if you need to refer to it, you can. Um, that, the Instructables will have all the dimensions, I think, so if you, need, if you don't want to eyeball it like I did on my first one, uh, you can go there and get all the dimensions you want. Uh, I know this is a tutorial, but and by all means, if you guys want, you can go ahead and just copy me step by step. That's fine. But what I really wanted to do in this video was allow you guys to understand uh, how this works, so that you can make your own model and hopefully make a better one. Cause I know this is pretty good. I'm satisfied with this, but I'm sure if uh, if I put more time into it, I can make something even better. And that's what I want you guys to do. So it's up to you. If you want to go and uh, copy this, go ahead. I think it's pretty good. But uh, uh, if you want, you can just watch the video, understand how, how this works right here, and then add your own uh, design and uh, make it better. So thanks for watching and good luck. Okay, so to start off, you're going to want to take this drawer slide right here. And uh, you're going to want to change it to something more around this size. This right here is what I use. It's a uh, check real quick. But it's 9 inches and uh, 7 eighths long. The, the outer part is. So uh, that's what you're going to want to start off with. You want to cut that. So I'll show you where to cut. And uh, I'm going to be using a hacksaw if anyone has a better instrument. By all means use it because... Hex on sucks. So yeah. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna want to do with the slide right here is disassemble it so you have each separate piece apart. Start off by taking off this tape. Okay. Let's see here. Uh right, that. If you can see this part right here, it'll slide right off if you just pull it to the end and then take it out. So now you can just get rid of all that, you don't need any of it. The next thing you want to do is take this apart. Really what you can do, what you're going to have to do actually is uh, uh, completely extend it and then you're going to have to put it in a hacksaw and just start cutting somewhere. I'm going to probably cut right here you can see because then I won't have to cut as much I can just cut right there and right there instead of the whole thing because I hate I hate the hacksaw it takes forever before I start cutting I just wanted to explain why you have to cut it on the slide there's these little notches which uh, blocks blocks them like the inner part from coming completely out here and there's one over here that you can't see so when you cut just make sure you cut inside this notch and the other notch which is right here so anywhere in between here 
as long as you have enough room to make uh, that 9 and 7th, 8th. Oh, the light. The lighting's weird. It's pretty cool. Anyway, yeah. So, just make sure you cut between here and here, and you have enough room to make it however long you want. Alright, so, as you can see, I decided to make mine, my cuts a little angled. You don't have to do that. My first one, I just made a straight cut. And I made it here purposely because there's a hole here, which I may or may not use uh, to, because uh, later on you're going to have to put a screw through there to make sure that the, that the uh, thing doesn't go right through, the uh, inner slide. So that's why I made it there. I might later on decide just to cut it somewhere else. Uh, we'll see. So yeah, that's the first thing you have to do. Just cut it there and make sure you file it down to smooth out the edges. Okay, so now that you have this cut, you'll be able to slide this right off, but you don't want to do that yet. Because if you do, all these balls will just roll out and you're going to have to find them all. That happened to me and it really does suck. So instead, make sure you have a magnet or a, a bowl or something, to, some kind of container to put all the, the ball bearing or whatever they are, the balls in there. So I'm going to do that right now. Just do this. As you can see... Actually, see where we're sticking on. It's weird. As you can see, my magnet has all all the balls on there. That's exactly what you want. So, all right there. All right, perfect. So now you have all three different pieces and the balls. So. Uh, this is where you have to mark everything and get everything the size you want. So uh, I like my first design, so I'm gonna make it the same size. So if I just bring this right here, um, as you can see, I made my cut wide enough so I can I have some room to play around. So if I don't want to keep this cut, I can just make a new one and it'll still fit in here. So yeah. Um, just mark it. Mine, as you already know, is nine and seven eighths long of this piece right here, and that's what I'm gonna start off with. I'm gonna make sure I make this the right size and everything. Okay, so before I start cutting everything apart, I just want to show you what happens to the three pieces right here. Um, so right here, I have I have the screw right here, as you can see. This is what I was talking about before. It's gonna stop the inner slide from uh, coming out. So I'm going to take that off real quick so I can show you everything else. Okay, so I'm um, going slide this right off. Alright, so this right here is the inner slider, or slide or whatever. I have no clue what these things are called. So this huge piece of metal right here is going to turn into this, and this is what you're going to mount your blade on. I'm using a letter opener as a blade, you can use whatever you want. Okay, next thing right here, this, I'll call this a slider. Everything else is a slide. Big slide, small slide, and slider. So, the slider is this right here. And as you can see, right here I made a cut. This is where I'm going to keep the, oh shoot, the ball fell out. This is where I'm going to keep the uh, spring. So, I'm just going to take this, and later on I'm going to cut some of that out so we can fit the spring in. And then here, as you already know, this is the outer slide. It's going to turn into the thing that holds everything. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to cut that to size, and I'll show you guys that soon. Okay, right, so, I cut the outer slide to length, and here it is. Just gonna sand that down, grind it down, and that's the first piece right there. Okay guys, here's the inner slide. As you can see, I don't have any holes in this one. 
that's because I'm going to self tap the holes in the screws that I'm going to use so make sure when you cut this piece which is three inches by the way make sure there's no holes at all and just sand it down grind it make it smooth and you're done with the inner piece now okay so here's the next part it's a slider um, what you're going to want to do here is take pencil and mark out two and a half inches I don't know if you can see it it goes all the way up to there so it's two and a half inches long and just wide enough so you can fit the spring in there you don't want to make it any wider because if you do it's going to weaken the slider more than it already is so you don't want to do that so mark it up clamp it down and then uh, take your hacksaw and uh, cut, cut that uh, mark open make sure you cut it very gently so you don't warp it alright so once you're done cutting this is what you should have two and a half inches just enough space for the spring make sure you file everything and take this off right here and that's it for the slider okay so now you have all three pieces here all cut to size as you can see I put the slider and I put it back inside the large slide when you do that as you can see there's different segments one there, 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 and there for each segment I put one ball in the middle I didn't put them all that's just so it slides easier okay so now what you're going to want to do is take the small the small slide and stick it at the end like there and force it in as you can see right now it doesn't go in too easily at all so what we're going to have to do instead once I get this off okay so we're going to have to take this piece right here the small slide open up this vise and then you're going to want to place just the bottom parts bottom parts right here in the uh, vise and then gently close it up okay. gently put it in there just so that the bottom's in there and then you want to compress it just a little bit just enough so that you can slide it in a little more easier Let's see if that was good enough. Mm. A little better, but I could use a little more. You especially want the ends to be inside a little more because as they roll along, you don't want them to catch along on the balls. So. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's much better. Okay. Yeah, so. Whoops. Lost some balls. Alright, so that definitely went on a lot easier. The end could use some more. And, I don't know. I might give the middle some more compression. Okay, I need to grab two more balls to replace those. So as you can see, there's a segment right there. I just placed one ball in the middle. Can't really see it because my finger's covering it. One on the other side and then pull it in. Right. Oh, it's, it's much better. Uh, so you want it loose enough so that it comes on easily, but not so loose that you can just slide this 
without moving the slider. So that's it, it's perfect right there. Just don't overdo it and it should be all good. Yeah, that's great right there. Okay, so before I move on, I just want to show you guys when you, t when you take this piece right here and uh, compress it to make it go through the slider smoother, you don't want to do it too much. Let me just show you real quick. So this was the first piece I had right here. And I'm going to show you why it's bad. So if I hold this right here, the slider down, you can see I can still move the inner slide. And you don't want that. You want When this moves, you want this to move as well. So it's more like that. So uh, I'll show you the one that I made. And this is what you're going to want. So if you see, if I, I can force it on. It's a little difficult, but I can still get it on. That's what you want. And more importantly, when you hold this down, the slider, and you move this, you can see that the slider is moving too. Like, I can't stop it. If I stop the slider, this thing won't move, and that's what you want. So it's something like that. Okay. Okay, so now we have all three pieces together. And if you kept that hole right there, I'm going to show you what to do. You take a screw. I'm sorry, I don't know the name of it. Uh, or what's it's three eighths long, three eighths of an inch long. Other than that, I don't know. I prefer flat tips, where you countersink the hole. But this one, I I couldn't find one the right size, so I'm using this. You can just stick that through the hole right there. And then you're gonna take three washers or uh, my bad nuts, and you're gonna put them in like that. Tighten it up. So I like to tighten it up and line it up so that the flat edge right there is uh, parallel to this. So hits it nice and flat. So that's what that hole is for. So you can see now this can't come out, it's stuck there. The next thing we have to do is make a hole for this side so that it can't come out this way. Alright, so to make sure that the inner slide and slide don't come out, slider don't come out over here, you have to do a similar thing that we did on this side right here. Except you're going to have to drill your own hole. So you're going to want to take your green bag right here, take out a, uh, a nut, line that nut on one of the sides, I have it on the right side, doesn't really matter. Make sure it's flat and lined up to the edge right here, and then you're going to want to mark that with a pencil. See right there, okay. Next you're going to take a tool. All I have is a nail. You're going to put it right there on your mark and give it a few taps. Alright. Hopefully you have better tools than I do. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. And once you've done that, you can uh, go ahead and drill a hole right there. Okay, so there's your hole. So you can see that goes in there, fits perfectly. And if I wanted to, I could put two nuts in there and that would block it. However, that's not flat right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to countersink this hole on the other side. So this goes in more and does a better job of blocking.
Okay, so this is what we're gonna use to countersink. Put that right in there. So as you can see, I only went in a little bit, just enough to make sure I'm gonna put that in, it's completely flat. Right there. You can do a little more, make it go in even more, but yeah, that's good enough for, for us. That'll suit our purpose. If you see um Alright, so once you put two nuts in, see it hits it there, hits it on this side too. That's exactly what you want. It's perfect.